Hello everyone, my name is John Perez and today I'm actually going to show you how to utilize Twitter search along with TweetDeck combined with your CRM system, in this case called Salesforce.com to generate and create more leads and potential buyers and prospects of your product or service. So, why is this important? Well, Harris just released a poll that indicated that about 52% 52% of consumers are actually participating in online social networks. So with that said, it becomes far more relevant to Twitter, uh, to people who are on Twitter now and people who are on Facebook to actually engage in conversations about potential purchases that they will make. So let's get right into it. Uh, go to Twitter search and you can get there by going to search.twitter.com. And I'm going to use the advanced search capability. The advanced search capability is actually going to give me the more comprehensive capability to search for particular things that I'm looking for uh, in terms of prospecting. So I'm going to use the hashtag. The hashtag is actually symbolized like this in, um, in, in Twitter. And the hashtag really just tells uh, the Twitter network uh, that you're utilizing and marking yourself and associating your conversations with a particular keyword. So if I was talking about Coca-Cola, I may put a hashtag like this for Coca-Cola, just to let people know that it's actually relevant to my business and it's very important that I get recognized for those conversations relevant to Coca-Cola. In this case, I am a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software Salesperson, and I am going to use the hashtag called CRM to find relevant conversations and groups and people interested in CRM software. I'm going to click search and I'm going to see in the Twitterverse who's actually conversating about CRM. And you'll see that all these conversations, whether it's this gentleman, Kitson, has the actual hashtag of CRM. Um, this is going to be really important because it actually narrows down uh, those who are more serious about CRM in the space versus those who are just referencing CRM in their conversation. So I'm going to go down to a gentleman by the name of John F. Moore. He seems pretty influential. Uh, you'll see that he wrote some commentary on why CRM projects fail. And uh, I'm going to click on his profile. And what I'm going to do is probably follow him with my own particular Twitter ID. But more importantly, I'm actually going to go here and look at his information. I see John Moore is located in Withthorpe, Massachusetts. Uh, he has a website here. Uh, it's johnfmore.wordpress.com, and you'll see that he's the CTO and VP of Engineering at Swimfish. His primary interests are management, BI, CRM. So, you know, if I was selling business intelligence software or CRM software, this is the guy I want to market to. He's also interested in SharePoint and uh, rich media. So you'll also see he's pretty influential. He's following 2,045 people and he's got about 2,200 followers. So certainly someone uh, who's influential in the space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a lead in Salesforce because it just so happens I sell BI software and CRM software and I'm gonna see if this guy's even interested in evaluating any one of our solutions. So I'm gonna copy and paste his his URL right into my lead record here in salesforce.com. I'm going to create lead, quickly create a lead. And his first name is John. His last name is Moore. You get the idea. His company is Swimfish. Let's get that right. Uh, titles, uh, CIO, I believe. And I'm just going to put his website. In this case, I'm going to put his Twitter profile until I get more information on him. You can fill out the rest of the info a little later. You get the idea. Now the lead is created in Twitter and in Salesforce. And from here, I can tweet with him, have a conversation, really get to know this guy, and track all my activity, all, all my conversations related to my tweets in this particular lead record. Okay? The other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to use TweetDeck. TweetDeck is a great tool because a lot of salespeople would say, well, do I have to search Twitter all the time for these keyword terms? You know, does this mean I have to do it every day? TweetDeck is an excellent tool that allows you to do some real-time monitoring of these alerts uh, and these keywords in 
a download for free application for Mac OS uh, Linux uh, Windows etc it's an Adobe Air application and I'm actually gonna just show you it right now real quickly uh, because you can see I have a lot of predefined searches and just using the example we just went over I did a search for the hash key hash term CRM and you'll see all the conversations actually occurring uh, you'll also see the gentleman that we just prospected uh, John F Moore he's here also uh, responding to some other particular tweeters and uh, essentially when there's a new uh, conversation on Twitter where uh, the CRM term is now reflected it would automatically in real time appear right here the same thing goes with any other search term as you see I'm searching here for salesforce.com uh, any type of product or brand you're selling you may want to utilize TweetDeck to actually provide real-time monitoring and you can have this on your desktop in the background running uh, as you're in salesforce.com or any other CRM system to generate leads okay so that was a summary on how to use Twitter search and tweet deck to generate more leads into your CRM system and for your business.